in this video uh, we will be dealing with the part 2 of the problem uh, where we have calculated earlier at the toe and at the heel of the angle what is the side flat point required so now here uh, transverse will to be added at the end of angle that we will be calculating and that's our part B. So I can just write down here first of all. Transverse weld added at D. End of an angle. Now if the transverse weld is added at the end of an angle, so it should be applied symmetrically about the centroidal or CG of the section and so that the eccentricity of the loading can be avoided. So how this can be taken place, so we will just first of all draw diagram. So this is your angle section. So if you just look at here. So now what you need to do is to just Uh, so before that uh, we can just uh, draw the set plate so that's the set plate and this set plate uh, will be like this And now <laughs> we can just draw the centroid CD and say and you need to uh, just adjust uh, the length of the weld at this end. as well as uh, you can do it like this as well so this is how you can do and this length what would be required that we were going to calculate this you know actually is already given in the problem this is 28.4 mm and the remaining distance would be 71.6 mm and uh, we can just say this has this is going to be the weld this is going to be the weld this is 12 mm In the set plate while this is your angle section 100 by 100 
बटन सो ना वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रांसवर्स वेल्ड सो टू कैलकुलेट लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रांसवर्स वेल्ड व्हाट वी रिक्वायर्ड इज सो लेट अस से आई विल जस्ट राइट डाउन लेंथ ऑफ ट्रांसवर्स वेल्ड व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी टू टाइम्स द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द सीजी टू टाइम्स distance of cg so this would be equal to 2 into this is 20 8.4 mm this is going to be 56.8 mm now again uh, we just need to calculate the force resisted by this 56.8 mm Length of this six mm weld. So for that we can just go to the page number seventy-nine. <laughs> so with this same clause we can just simply calculate the force resisted 10.5.7.1 so we can just write down here force resisted by 56.8 mm length of 6 mm weld so this can be from clause number 10.5.7.1 page 79 so uh, this would be equals to so force resisted i for we can just write down actually the length which we have calculated lt which is this one transverse length multiplied by throat thickness this uh, we can consider as well and uh, then it has to be multiplied f u by root 3 into 1 by gamma m w so we got here this one 56.8 mm so thickness we already calculated in the last video that is 4.24 multiplied by f u by root 3 that is 410 and this is 1.24 this we have seen in earlier case so this if you calculate you will get it around 45.64 kN now this is the uh, load can be resisted but uh, you need to resist the load that is of around 300 kN so we just need to check what is the balance load to be uh, we need to consider so we can just write down here so balance load 
the total load minus FR so total load is of 300 and minus 45.64 so you will get this one around 254.36 kilonewton now to resist this 256.34 kilonewton we just need to check what exactly uh, we can just say P1 and P2 as well again the same thing that we have seen in the earlier video itself so let us calculate or let us take uh, let's consider this one again as P1 and this one again as P2 and this has got to be total P of 300 kilonewton so now uh, again the same case P1 multiplied by 100 is the total length uh, of one leg which is equals to say the load of 254.36 which is going to act at the distance of 100 minus 28.4 so therefore p1 will be equals to now one kilonewton now if we just deduct this one from the remaining load so we'll get the p2 as well so we'll get p2 will be equals to 254.36 which uh, we got it here minus 182.1 so here we will get it around 72.2 kilonewton now for this p1 and p2 we just need to calculate what is the effective length so formula is of this P1 divided by the strength of the weld. Strength of the weld we already calculated it in the earlier video that uh, you can just refer. So therefore now effective length which is required so L1 will be equals to P1 be divided by strength of weld P1 you got 182.1 kN divided by strength this is we already calculated in the earlier video and you will get this L1 as 230 mm while L2 would be equals to P2 divided by strength of weld P2 you got 72.2 divided by 803.5 and this is uh, to be multiplied by 182.1 into 10 to the power 3 this is also into 10 to the power 3 so you will get this around 90 mm so this is how you will get so how to provide that 90 mm and 230 mm So this 90 mm we can just provide at this location this is your 90 mm and this is your 230 mm while now this one which we have already calculated which is uh, 
equidistant from the CG and that is of 28.4 mm 28.4 mm so this is how you will have to provide the length of the weld that's the part of the earlier problem second part now here we can say the most of the part is covered in this connection part